We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Stefan Lazarevich who is State Secretary for the Ministry of Trade and Telecommunications for the Republic of Serbia. Uh, State Secretary, thank you very much for being with us today. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. I'd like to start off by talking about the fact that we're here in, in the second week of Wicket 2012. What are you hoping we'll see come from this week? Well, at the end of the week I hope that we will have a new international telecommunication um, regulation paper and that uh, after 24 years that we will have a new paper which will uh, uh, bring um, new things in the whole telecommunication market and I hope that at the end we will have a compromise between all countries that have their uh, uh, delegates in this conference. What for you are going to be the most pertinent points to come out of this conference? Well, for me personally and for Republic of Serbia, it's very important that uh, we hope that this paper uh, will uh, foster the investments in broadband infrastructure and also that it will improve accessibility uh, to new technologies. On the other hand, we hope that this paper will help us to have much uh, uh, more transparent uh, price regulation and also to, uh, for us it's very important to, to have uh, uh, the highest level of uh, freedom of expression. And also we hope that it will support uh, the development of competitive and liberalized te telecommunication market because on uh, our uh, uh, own example in Republic of Serbia we noticed that uh, by the li liberalization of the telecommunication market we got better services, better prices for citizens and we've uh, um, developed better our economy. What do you see as the most positive aspects coming from Wicket 12? Well, the most positive aspects is that we are changing, that we are accepting the, that we are now living in 21st century. And if we want to change system of tw uh, in this century, we have to change some rules and we have to accept the, that uh, we cannot live in 21st century by the rules of 20th century. So also it is very important that we have discussions, that uh, we are tr trying uh, to find a compromise and that uh, we all are uh, looking how to have better services uh, for our citizens and that uh, our citizens are in the first place whenever we are talking about changing some regulations. And what's your vision for the future for telecommunications for the Republic of Serbia? Well, uh, we have adopted the, the strategy for development of telecommunications until 2020. And also we are now working on action plan which will define our goals uh, and all things that we have to do by the end of uh, in next two years because we think that uh, we have to have a predictable market and that uh, that predictable market will, uh, will be very important for new investors in, in one way and we have to have the clear plan how to develop uh, tele uh, broadband infrastructure and mostly in rural areas and in areas which are not um, uh, developed very well. But also while we are working on developing the infrastructure we also have to develop new services for citizens, we have to improve our e-commerce, our regulatory framework, so we have loads of things to do and we hope that, and, and I think that the uh, next four years are the crucial years for developing of uh, Serbian economy but also of developing of telecommunication in Republic of Serbia. And finally, what do you think will be the outcomes of this conference? Finally, I hope that we will have a final document and that everybody will be satisfied and especially citizens of the world will be satisfied at the end. Let's hope so, absolutely. Thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much for this interview.